But when we think about unity, oftentimes we ask the question, what does it mean that they may be one? And when I was teaching a class, one of my students says, should we have one universal leader for all of Christianity? And my answer is, yes, we already have one, and that's Jesus Christ. But then he says, but shouldn't we have the same Bible? Shouldn't we use the same scripture as some other religions do? Shouldn't we follow certain practices? And so then the question that I pose to my students and to you who's listening today is, are you talking about unity or uniformity? When I was working on my uh, dissertation, I realized using Paul Hebert's model, we can consider uniformity as a bounded set, meaning to say uniformity in terms of we, we need to say the same party line, we use the same Bible verse or version, we have to wear the same clothes, we have to have the same haircut. That's uniformity. But when we think about Christianity and the way we have been growing in the past, uh, Christianity in itself, we realize that we are more of a centered set, which is unity based on a common goal and a common purpose. The world is going through much change right now because of the pandemic. And it's really important for Christian leaders now to come together and work as, as one body with a common allegiance to Christ and, and a desire to preach the gospel to all, all the nations. So I see that while denominationalism has been a source of stumbling block for many, but the Lord can even use our weaknesses to spread the gospel.